welcome back to my channel how are you doing today are you doing good are you not doing good let me know because somebody will get beat up behind you period in today's video as you guys can see my hair needs something done to it it's still it's still installed like if i pull it it ain't going nowhere like i can fight with this with this on the only problem is it needs something done to it like look at this it need it need a style before i'm gonna give it one more day i'm gonna give it one more day of wear wear it tear before i move on to the next week so i kind of want to show you guys what to do if you like done with a style like say you got a middle part or a side part and you just like i'm ready to do something else with this hair before i take it out i'm gonna show you guys what you can do when you're ready to restyle what you will need is a wig of course you will also need a head you need a head you need a wig and you need a brush really important to me y'all like if y'all have never watched one of my hair reviews, I'm letting you know this right now. A bristle brush is very important to me. Like, super. I need a bristle brush before I need a comb. Like, true story. I need a bristle brush before I need a comb. I need a bristle brush before I need a rat tail comb. I don't care. I need a bristle brush. I'm not coming to your house if you don't have a bristle brush. They look like this. Bristles. I know mine full of hair, but that's because it's this job to be full of hair. So, today... We gonna get into one of those styles with the little things in the front and the ponytail. So you guys, this hair is from I Show Hair. This is the hair that I had in when I said, my first time trying this because it was my first time trying this. So the first thing you are going to do is obviously you're gonna make your two little, y'all know my hair look amazing, but it's gonna be good at the end. You're gonna make your two little things that come down into your face. Now the best thing to do is like take a comb or something and you're just gonna make a little part right there. Boom. Just a little thing of hair, just like that. And then you're gonna go to the other side and you're gonna make another little strip of hair. That's all you need. Just two little strips of hair like these. These are really important. These make your look. You're going to part your hair like for your ponytail. Now I need to go on to the other side and just part it on down. So after you have your ponytail party off, as you guys can see, I have this standing up. I like to put the rest of my hair like up somewhere because it don't have my business here no more. I just put it in a ponytail back here and this prevents you from like grabbing that hair and putting it in your ponytail because you don't need that. So now all you should have is these and your ponytail. That's all you should have to work with. And I'm going to brush my hair all together just like a regular ponytail. Ponytail. Now you can make this ponytail bigger or you can make it smaller, however you wanna do it. But I have a closure, so I really don't have much to work with, but this is what we work with. Cute little ponytail, probably gonna curl it, you know? You're gonna take your gel, grease, spray. You can take your edge control and you're just gonna smooth this part down. Y'all, when I say smooth, I mean bristle brush smooth, like smooth it back. And I'ma just, smooth it back like I told y'all. Don't be scared, be generous with the product. You wanna make sure it is smooth, like smooth, smooth. It's pretty slick back. So then you are gonna grab your ponytail. See what I used to do when I was little, like I used to try to have my ponytail in the middle, but it ended up right here and right here. Then you are gonna take your hair tie, and my mama used to brush and grab like 50 times. She would brush, grab, brush, brush, brush. So I'm gonna use her method and just keep brushing, keep grabbing until it's really taut. See that word? Taut, until it's really taut. You can make this ponytail in the front of your head or you can make it towards the back. Now while I'm at work and I look down, this ponytail be way up here. So I'm gonna try to have it like towards the back son. But you can have it Whatever you want to, you know, in the front. So once you have it in the middle, make sure you twist it. Because then it's not going to go nowhere. So mine is in the middle. 
in a boom bitty boom boom you know make it tight and y'all this style quick and easy like when you just done if you add curls it's gonna really look like you took like an hour on it but you really took like 15 minutes so that's the key so this is what i'm working with as you guys can see it's the hair tie the slickness the ponytail the two things okay so now the next step is really important you guys like really important to this style you're gonna take a piece of your hair like a piece like like this much you're gonna take this much of your ponytail and you're gonna brush it just like this once you brush it you're gonna wrap it around your hair tie this gives it that hairstylist look like you went to the hairstylist and they you know hooked you up once you do it like that and you don't have no more hair you're gonna take your got to be spray and you're gonna lock it into place make sure you're not all up on the hair just come back soon so while that's doing that we're gonna move on to the finishing touches y'all my best friend said i don't know how to curl hair i'm finna show her something so most people leave this style, this style like this this is when the hair is like you know you tie the regular part and you want to have some little pizzazz to your style you can have these two in the front like your yeah, your yeah, little ponytail yeah but see, I could leave it right here, but I it been straight, so I could just curl it for y'all. The Duval flat iron, y'all, this is my holy grail. When I say this thing get hot, like this thing get hot. Like if Megan was here, she would not let this touch her roots for real, for real. I'ma press the power button all the way up to 450 degrees. So then I'ma curl everything, y'all. Like I'ma curl these and this. This needs to be curled because it got a lot of product in it. So this hair really. Like it's really weighed down. It got a lot of product in it. So we gonna curl it. So I'ma go ahead and do these last. These might not even get a curl. I learned to curl a while back in a video when I had orange on. And I'ma brush it thoroughly. And when I say thoroughly, I mean thoroughly. Now I don't, that's the only thing. I don't know about away from your face and to your face. I just curl. I don't care if it's going towards my face or not. So I twist it in like this and I hold my hair and I go down just like that. It takes some time, but you haven't seen me curl my hair before. So my best friend was talking shit, but it's gonna come out pretty either way. Cause I do this, I do this, I do this. So I let it go like this and then, oh my po, oh my po is. Then I take it out, right? Then I hold it right here. Let it cool off. This part did what it wanted to do. I don't know. I let it go. And it be like that. That's one side done. It's like boom. And this side like boom. This side got pizzazz. And this side don't have pizzazz. So we gonna get inside some pizzazz. Okay, so I have all of this curled. Sometimes I just go like that, you know, just to make sure they really end up. And now we're gonna move on to the ponytail. Yeah, I look like those girls that got their hair permed on the perm boxes. But, and then the ponytail be like this, y'all. It be <laughs> curled way up here. Like way, it be like a little bump up here. So it don't be like that. So it don't be like this. So it don't be like this. Oh my God. I'm gonna go over it. Then I'm gonna twist my flat iron and I'm gonna go down the hair. Right now, just like this. 
and your curls just gonna do what they do all day. But me, I'm a comb my girl. When you comb them out, it's just whoever thought of that is a genius. So yeah. So you guys, my ponytail got two different curls, but that's okay because we finna comb it out. So what I like to do with my comb out is I like to take a wig brush. So I'm gonna take my wig brush and I'm gonna start off right here. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't like to just go in like that because then like you just did all that curly for nothing. But for the rest, just use your hands and it give you like volume. So I comb one time and do the rest with my hands for a little bit. And then I'll probably give it a second one. But if not, these be the curls. You know, then we're gonna go to the top. Just go down that one. So this is the finished look using the I Show Hair Restyle. When you are sick and tired of the little side part and the little uh, middle part, and you just wanna do something else with your hair, I would definitely recommend the, the ponytail with the, you know, the, whatever this look is called. With the two things in the front and a ponytail, I would highly suggest this look because it's easy. It could be straight, it could be curly. I would say curls because it really gave look a whole, like, whole new look. As you guys can see, my curls is really curls. My best friend was talking her stuff. I really curl somebody down. Like, I really curl somebody down. Give me the hoes who can't curl. She can't curl. Look at this. 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 Who, 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 who messing with me with my curls? Water. Girl. And they look. I look like Minnie Mouse. No. That's what I want to look like. I want to look like Minnie Mouse. My curls good and they great and they gorgeous. Period. So you guys, if you guys like this video, if you guys like this restyle, and if you guys think I did good on my style, let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you're going to try this on your straight hair. Transform it into a whole new look. This is one I would highly suggest. If you guys like this video, make sure you leave it a big thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you want to see from me next. Thank you guys again for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.